Hello, I wanted to talk to you quickly about French tips and how they're easy to make. So I wanted to see um, if a punch would work. We've got a one inch punch. The uh, photo I saw someone, they had a smaller punch, but this is the one I have, so we're gonna check it out. And so since these strips have a design on one end and not on the other, um, I can normally cut mine in half because of how short my nails are. So I started that here and I realized that with the punch trick, it was not gonna be that easy to do after I cut it in half because it's not gonna be easy to hold and put it in there. So what I will show you too is these little charms come in our manicure sets and you can use these instead. So um, you can take and use it with your eyelash or cuticle scissors or nails, manicure scissors, and trim right around that edge. So you have a rounded tip. Hold on, let me get some of this off of there. So it's just kind of a guide. You could also draw on the back of the strip, the circle, and then trim it, whatever's easier for you. But that gives you kind of the rounded edge. I don't know if you can see it because it's white. And um, you can also, like I said, clean it up a little bit. It doesn't really have to be completely perfect. You're gonna have to fix the ends anyways. And then again on your bottom part, however long you want your French tip to be. So I'm gonna make mine a little bit longer because I would rather trim off the edges, but now I've got my French tip that I can use. Okay, so that's the, the charm, and these come with our manicure sets. They're on our um, website under tools, and then with this, we're going to see, and by the way, I've already taken off the clear protective coating on all the strips I was going to use, so I don't forget. Let's see if this would work too. So we're gonna make this the bottom. So I'm gonna cut off the little writing there. Oh, I think I'm gonna like this better too. So however long you want it, if you wanna make it a little bit of extra long because you can take off the excess. Boom, okay. Now if I can find where it flew to. Nope, hold on. Missing nail strip. Okay, let's see if I can apply this. So this would be my do, 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 my pinky. And I'm gonna do, um, I'm not gonna do a tip on this one because of how short it is. So we're gonna do a tip and a tip. So I'm gonna do my tip over here. So let's see if I can do this on camera because clearly I'm fumbling a lot. And I did not even bring my nail file or anything, so that's okay. I just wanted to show you how to cut them. And then I'm gonna take some pictures. Okay. So I can fix it as needed. Oh, I'm not even on the screen. But you peel off the backing and put your French tip down. Mine's probably not gonna be straight because I'm on camera. Fold over any excess, and you can file this off, you can trim this off, you can use your scissors. Mine's not straight at all, because I'm looking through the little screen. So that's okay, I haven't cut it yet, so let's fix it. What side do I need to move up? All right, let's try to pay more attention and, t and stay on screen. How about that? Silly concept, huh? Hopefully I'm not yelling in your ear because I'm kind of close to the camera. Much better, okay. So there's my French tip and if you hold on for half a second, I'll grab a file. Okay, see I was not prepared tonight. So we're gonna file in one downward motion. Hopefully you can see that. 
I'm looking at my nail and not the screen. How terrible is that? So that means that you can literally make any of our strips, any of our designs at Bella Hood, one a French tip, anything. Any sparkle, any, that's probably too thick too, but you get the idea. You can play with it. I don't know, I like it. So what I'm going to do is now I have my design for the other side. If I can pick it up. So I'll have my design over here my French tip over here, and I'm gonna stick some glitter polish on the bottom down there just for some fun, so I'll post some pictures. But super easy, so you can use your, this is like I said, a one inch punch, you could use probably a three quarter inch punch, but just, you know, punch there and then punch again, and you can put it right on your tip and then get rid of your excess, and you're all set. Easy peasy. Thanks so much for watching.